The Ugly Pumpkin by Dave Horowitz. I am the ugly pumpkin, as you can plainly see. Of 100,000 pumpkins, none are quite like me. Since early in October, I've been waiting to be picked. But each time things start looking up, I end up getting tricked. A skeleton came for pumpkins one bright and crispy day. I asked if I could get a ride. He laughed and said, no way. And when I said, it's getting late and I don't have a home, he rolled his eye and said, goodbye, and left me all alone. So I walked into November, where I happened on some trees. I asked if I could stay a while, and this time I said, please. The trees all started smiling, and then one finally spoke. Take off your boots and spread your roots. Another cruel joke. I am the ugly pumpkin, I shouted to the sky. And then it started raining, so I began to cry. I took shelter in a garden that was overrun with squash. I noticed something very odd and then thought, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm a squash. At last it was Thanksgiving and I found where I fit in. Now you know my story, so let the feast begin. Happy Thanksgiving. Pumpkins come in all shapes and sizes and so many different colors besides just orange. There are white pumpkins, red, yellow, green, even some pumpkins that are light blue and light pink. The long ones are actually squashes and the difference is that the squash doesn't have a hollow part on the inside where the seeds are. Today we're going to be painting some pumpkins using a technique called pointillism. Pointillism uses lots of tiny dots or points to create a picture. Sometimes the dots come together and create a sort of blob of dots, and sometimes there's space between the dots, which gives a different kind of effect. Sometimes the dots are very close in color so that they can blend, and other times they're not. Sometimes the dots are small and sometimes they're large. So whatever you choose to do is your artistic choice. For this project, we have paper, water, watercolor paint, Q-tips, and I will need a pencil. I'm gonna start by putting some water in with the watercolor paints, and then I will write my name at the bottom of the paper so that it doesn't get lost. First, I'm going to take a colored pencil or crayon or something and draw a C and then a backward C to make the shape of the pumpkin and then I'll make the little stem. It's really light, but it's enough that I can see where I want to put the paint. Now, the best way to make these dots is by holding the Q-tip straight up and down like you're standing it up on its end and dropping it straight down on the paper so that it makes a nice round little dot. If you do it off to the side, like the way you hold a pencil, then you'll end up with a smudgy look instead of a round little dot. For my pumpkin, I'm going to take a darker orange red and make those stripes from the stem all the way down to the bottom to show those segments that a pumpkin has. Now I'm just going to try some of the other colors and fill in all the spaces that are still white. I'm 
I don't like all of the colors that I used, but I'm not going to start over. I'm just going to try to make it work. So I think I'm going to make a floor for my pumpkin to sit on here. I still see a lot of white spaces in my pumpkin. So I'm gonna use more color and fill in those white spaces and really make the dots come together. Now the paper we're using has one smooth side and one side that's rougher. You can paint on either side. So the last pumpkin I did was on the rough side. So I'm gonna make this one the smooth side. I'm gonna write my name at the bottom. Then I'll use a pencil to draw a C and then a backward C for the shape of my pumpkin. And this time I'm going to draw a stem that stands up, more of a cartoon style. For this particular pumpkin, I'm going to try to use dots that do not touch each other, like a pop art style. I'll use several different colors. This Q-tip is too raggedy to use, so I'm gonna throw it away and get a new one. Some of my dots are touching even though I don't want them to, but that's okay. I'm going to keep going and I'm not going to start over. My pumpkin painting is done, but I think I'll add a background in a different color. I do have one more way to paint this. I'm gonna write my name, draw a C and a backwards C and a stem. Let's make it off to the side. And this time I'm going to use mostly orange and yellow on the inside parts. Then I'm going to take the darkest color I have, which in this case is dark brown, and I'm gonna make a face. My face is gonna be the traditional pumpkin face with some triangle eyes. Then I want to give him a very, very wide, happy smile. 